can kind of mark the passing of time. <laughs> yes. By Gracie. Gracie's an older lady now. Right. Then when Still you first came, she was but a, but a young little chick. Spunky pup. That's right. And now then she's a glam Still glamorous. She's commanding. I know. I know. Look at her. So. Pardon me. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that was rude. They should do this like Sesame Street. You should have this in a studio. I, I, television inside. Yeah. I know, it's amazing that you thought of that. that I know, somebody should really come up with a... I was on Sesame Street. I'm coming on Sesame Street. No way. Yeah. No way, that is a bucket list for me. How did you oh, get on it? They just asked me and I was like, <gasps> of course. What do you get to do? I sing, a, I play a character called uh, Mako Polo. I'm like an explorer looking for grouchiness. And I sing a song because you've got to look for the slime. How's it go? You gotta look for the slime, you gotta look for the slime, you gotta look for the goo. It's something, something won't come to you. But also, I was so nervous as well because I was, you know, doing scenes with, um, uh, what do you call him, the little red one? Elmo? Elmo. Yeah, the scenes with Elmo. I just was, you know, it's kind of iconic thing. I was, I was acting with Elmo, I was more nervous than, you know, Meryl Streep. I understand that, by the way. Mm -hmm. Do you, I, I never get nervous here. You don't? No. Do you, so besides Sesame Street, do you get nervous anymore? I do. I got, I got nervous last night. I recorded my album last night, uh, a live recording, and uh, I got very, very nervous. Why? I think because it was going to be, you know, captured forever. So, like, I think it's quite endearing sometimes you make a little mistake, but it won't be after the fourth time you play it. Well, how'd it go? I, went pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Went pretty well. I think musically, I think it was really good. Uh, uh, I'm feeling good about that. I was thinking of you, and I thought, here's a guy who likes to look back. The book you wrote, Not mm. My Father's Son, mm -hmm. is a look back at your childhood. I know you recently went to Scotland. You walked around with your mother and looked around your youth there. I never look back. I don't look back to whether or not I had breakfast this morning. And I'm wondering what you get out of looking back. Well, I think it gives you a sense of who you are. I feel I've sort of tumbled through life and I said, oh, that sounds fun, let's do that. Oh, I'll go there. Oh, I'll move to this country for a bit. But I think the thing is, when you've been away from your life for a long time, going back there, you know, going, back, going back to Scotland for me is a great experience because it, it makes me understand who I am. And there's certain things about my, my personality and my sensibility that are intrinsically Scottish, I think. And I, I, well, what is that? What does it mean to be Scottish? Um, I think Scottish people are very open to, to you and to the world. And I think they're very fair, and uh, you know they, they they're you know if anything's unjust, they're very quick to deal with that. And they're also very you know garrulous and enjoy a laugh and a drink. You know, I'm actually quite angry with you because you took my producer, Lior, and you took my friend George Oliphant, and you went to Scotland, and like nobody even I didn't even know about it until you were at the on the runway leaving. Kidnapped. No, what is that? It's a thing, I, well, Visit Scotland is the Scottish tourist thing, and it's for first look, you know. No, I, I know first look, uh, but you don't think so I might have wanted to go? I was giving my services to my homeland. So kind of you. And I was presented you. with George. And uh, we went to Scotland for a week, four or five days and went madly around filming all these fabulous things. What did you see there that you hadn't seen before? Well, it wasn't so much that I hadn't seen before, but it's always lovely to see people experiencing it for the first time, which is this sort of beauty of it because it's absolutely it's, it's so stunning i also did the voiceover for the new commercial for scotland so i literally am the voice of scotland now scotland you're the voice it's great you're the face because, and the it's voice it's time to find it it's time to feel it scotland a spirit of its own so what is it though i want to know what the it is i guess the spirit of scotland the which sort is of, what like a really open friendly proud and garrulous and fair to Scotland. To Scotland. You know, and then another thing we did, do you want to know? Oh, yeah, yeah. We did this really great salt thing. salt even further. Go ahead. What happened? <laughs> we did this thing. It's, it's called a Highland Safari. And you go up in this uh, Land Rover. George drove it for a bit. It was terrifying. You know, the, the thing about when you're not used to driving another way, you go yeah. too close to the, like, there's trees bashing on the side of, the, of my side of the car. So I said, stop, we're, I'm driving. This is an intervention. Are, are you, are you, I'm going to drive. You're taking over? I'm driving. And then we went up this mountain, it's all going to big puddles, and it was really it's great. manly. Yeah, well, it's kind of manly. And, and then uh, you danced in a skirt. In a kilt, we call them. I think that, you know, that style of uh, outfit item is sort of seen as a feminine thing. Actually, I don't, it's very masculine, it's, very, it's all about. Does it come with them, um, like sporin. underwear? No, you don't wear underwear, but there's a sporin, which uh, the sporin is a little, little sort of handbag that hangs around your waist, you know? Which is Going also rough. very nice. It's very, I mean, come on, everybody knows that. 
And it just feels nice as well. It's got a bit of air up there. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. It's been special. It's such a good laugh. It's okay, really so when great. can I see it? When can I see February, it? February, oops, February the 13th. It's on after Saturday Night Live. And then it's, going to, then it's on other times. You know it's on after Repeated. that? What? Talk stupid. Is it? <laughs> Gosh, I could. Will I be on that time as well? That'd be great. I'm oh dominating the airwaves on NBC. You, you own NBC. Ha ha ha, CBS. Ha ha ha, take that.